There is this idea of enhancement and of being a cyber that is actually quite interesting. So I guess it's actually about pushing conversations in a certain direction and maybe something will happen in the future. We really like the idea of making an open source project. So if you would like to make it at home, it's really approachable. Part of the research that we did was actually understanding, is there a market for mouth controllers? And yes, there is. None of the devices that exist nowadays are based on biting. They are based on uh, sip and puff techniques, but they're quite bulky. So the idea was, why don't we start from scratch and see what we can do? The mouth, it's a, quite an interesting space because the tongue is a really strong muscle. When you can't use your limbs, your tongue is generally still active. So tetraplegic pe people generally still uh, have use of the tongue. For them to be able to use it uh, to engage with the world, and nowadays we engage through technology. That's empowering, I suppose. One part we call the Mouth Arcade and is actually a device that allows you to uh, play video games in the same way that you would do with a, with a joystick or the other two devices because they're grouped together. Based on uh, bone conduction, so they are uh, transducers that you can basically bite on and they will uh, produce uh, sounds in your mouth architecture and it's made of pure uh, tastes. And while you listen to the music, because it has been composed to uh, enhance different uh, tastes, you actually can feel the difference in the lollipop taste. What does it taste like? <laughs> it's very sweet, but also a little bit bitter. Is there any difference? It tasted less bitter. Yeah, this is, is the sweet, this is the sweet yeah. taste, so it's supposed to taste less bitter. It's like having a speaker in your mouth. Mm -hmm. It's really hard, so none of you could hear that. Wow, wow. Uh, no. Yeah, it's, it feels really crisp and loud. I don't know what part of my brain is doing what. <laughs> it's a really delicious one. We also started a collaboration with a jeweler. So the idea is still that it would be a jewelry piece that you can uh, bite on and um, um, transducer is embedded uh, in the device and you basically have a jewelry piece that actually play music for you. For the mouth arcade you can make it <laughs> it's very it's very approachable as a, as a as a project I mean we just use a couple of pressure sensors through uh, a technology that is called the QTC it's a material it's a router and uh, that's really easy to make. If you well, might be interested, you can contact us. We can talk together and we can give instructions to the people. Creating conversations uh, between design, art and science and technologies uh, are always interesting and important because they might diverge from what is the mass use of technology. It sparks some interesting questions about what expectations do we have from technology? What do we think our bodies do or can do uh, more than what we actually uh, use them for nowadays?